Good morning, my name is Helen Wharton and I'm the Head of Graduate and Education Services here at BAE Systems. Um, firstly, I'd like to say a huge thank you for being invited to join this Leadership Forum. For me, really important that we get the opportunity to talk a little bit about the programme um, that we deliver here at BAE Systems, but equally as important to really you know, be an advocate for the programme to encourage um, other employers and, and, and other organisations to get involved with the Movement to Work programme because there is absolutely real value um, in what we see and what we are able to deliver here at BAE Systems. For me, in terms of um, the programme, it really does align to some of the key priorities we have as an organisation. Um, so there's value on both sides. Um, it really helps us to make sure we've got that diversity of talent in our organisation um, and making sure that it supports our wider DNI strategy. Um, but equally, make sure that we are able to kind of focus on STEM and some of those really important um, you know, ambitions for young people to inspire them and motivate them through the STEM activities that we do um, and that is part of the programme in that we are able to you know take young people on virtual tours encourage them to talk to people in the business um, and support them with their employability skills so the programme has been very much embedded here at BE Systems our chief executive um, Charles Woodburn has been the sponsor since 2014 so very much is a programme where there is some some legacy and some real impact that we are able to to demonstrate um you know both internally and externally we also know that you know there are some challenges um you know for us as a country following the pandemic you know we're still um you know on our roadmap out of that so we know there is you know a commitment through the education bill vital reforms in post 16 education a new leveling up agenda in terms of that community investment and making sure that no community is left behind uh, we know there are challenges in terms of trying to break down those socio economic barriers and, and we do that through programmes like Movement to Work, where we create opportunities for all young people to engage with the programme. We, we've been really lucky in that, you know, we, over the period of time we've engaged with the programme, 600 and, 650 young people have been able to participate. The fantastic news for us is that, as I said, we use that as a pipeline through for our talent. Um, and of those that have participated, we've had over 200 young people go into a positive outcome with with BAE systems. So that's circa 30 young people who progress into our apprenticeship or graduate programmes each year, which is absolutely fantastic to be able to share with you. I think here at BE Systems, as we kind of are strong advocates for the programme, it's really important that we help young people to understand the kind of skills that we need as employers. And, you know, some of those ones that we're probably all familiar with, you know, working effectively in teams, attendance and timekeeping, the importance of that, and, um, you know, those interpersonal skills, but equally about the, the kind of quality of work that they deliver, you know, attention to detail, can they follow instructions? Instructions. So, so those things are important, but equally, um, it's also important that people think about the how, because it's not just what you do, it's how you do it. And, you know, we really want, you know, young people to have that adaptability, to be inspirational, you know, to have the integrity and, and work collaboratively. So once they come into BAE as part of our Movement to Work programme, we also help them to understand the kind of behaviours that we are looking for as an organisation organisation. It's also really important for all of us to, to, to help develop those employability skills, but equally to help young people to understand the importance of seeking those at an early stage as well. So where they can get involved in any kind of virtual or work experience, you know, world of work days, STEM activities in school, or talk to people that they know. You know, there's curriculums within school to help, but equally, you know, friends and neighbours and family, talk to them, find out about what it means to be at work because again you know those will help people young people to make those important career decisions
Our programme is virtual, obviously in this virtual world we've had to adapt, but we've not seen a, a you know, a, any less of a programme being delivered. Young people are still giving amazing feedback in that they get to work in teams, they deliver on projects to really help understand that what it means to be at work. But one of the best parts, certainly for me, is that through the programme, every young person gets a chance to present back what they did learn on the Movement to Work programme. So we have a real showcase where young people people present their findings, share what they have learned. And that really is so inspirational to see the benefit that we as an employer are able to give, but more importantly, the value that young people have seen in taking part in the programme. It's, you know, it is important that we celebrate the success. It is important that we create those fast track opportunities so people can see, you know, if they, they participate in the programme, there are benefits at the end. And certainly we have some fantastic case studies and real role models who have gone on to have really successful careers here in BAE Systems. So that really is a very kind of quick overview of the programme we run. We've had to be adaptable. We've had to build a programme that works in this virtual space. But more importantly, we wanted to continue to deliver. And we have been doing that. And I've seen real value helping support our talent pipeline here at BE Systems. Thank you for listening. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the discussions that will take place this morning.